Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here, and this is the DailySheeple.com's new shot. And boy, do I have something for you, because this really does show you how far advanced um, technology is with regards to communications. And now, uh, it's reported, ScienceNews.org, quantum satellite shatters entanglement record. It means a lot more than that. Basically, what uh, China's done, and I'm sorry, but you can't convince me that the United States does not possess this technology because I'll bet you dollars to donuts that we do and they're just not talking about it. DARPA, um, other black projects, we typically don't tip our hands. Whereas uh, it's pretty common practice, at least for uh, the Chinese in most, uh, most regards, uh, to kind of enjoy the moment when they think that they have got one over on us. And unfortunately, the powers that shouldn't be are always kind of one step ahead. But very interesting how this satellite using quantum entanglement can revolutionize the way that we not only communicate but pass data, a whole host of things. Listen to this. Particles of light born in space have connected two cities via quantum link about 10 times longer than any created before. A quantum communication satellite beamed photons to Earth, separating them by more than 1,200 kilometers. The feed showed that the particles of light can retain a strange type of interconnectedness known as quantum entanglement. Even when flung to opposite ends of the country, researchers from China, reported in uh, June 16th's science publication, says the previous distant record was about 100 kilometers, this satellite launched in 2016 is one of a kind and laying the groundwork for a space-based network of quantum communication. See, I'm of the opinion that as time goes on, this is what 5G is going to manifest itself into, is some sort of quantum communication. Understand this too, if they, if they are able to um, really hone this technology, there's no limit to the distance that this communication setup can travel um, once you get a quantum entangled pair, you know, one on one side, one on the other of the universe. And that's not to say that we don't already have photons or other particles that don't have a quantumly entangled partner somewhere, uh, you know, on the other side of the universe. And I'm sure that as time goes on, They'll figure out a way to find the twin without having to place it somewhere. You know, that's just, to me, that's something that's down the road, but closer than we think because they've already achieved quantum entanglement on a long distance scale. Very interesting. It says scientists have previously beamed photons up to a satellite and back, but those particles weren't entangled until now. No one has distributed entangled particles from space. Quote, China is now clearly taking the world leadership in the area of quantum communication. At least out in the open, they are. However, I am not convinced at all that DARPA or, again, the CIA would allow themselves to be caught with their pants down uh, with regards to something as significant as this breakthrough. And it's extremely significant because now you're talking about hack-proof communications. You're talking about security on a scale that is exponentially more secure. We're talking about, you can't even imagine. I mean, it's hack proof. Even a quantum computer would have a problem trying to solve or hack into a network that utilizes quantumly entangled proton because, or photons of light, because as once cha one changes state, one photon changes state, instantaneously its twin changes state at the same time. So how do you hack into something like that when there's really no transmission as we know it between the two particles? It says an ethereal bond between two particles, entanglement is the most essential ingredient of a quantum network. Entangled particles can't be described independently. Instead, they form one unit, even when separated by large distances. 
Measuring one entangled particle immediately reveals the state of the other. To perform quantum communication, scientists send entangled photons from place to place, but photons can only travel so far through the air or optical fibers before the material, material absorbs the particles, limiting the distance over which communication, of course, is possible. In the emptiness of space, however, photons can travel much farther. So using a satellite named uh, Mycius, Mycius, after an ancient Chinese philosopher, the researchers beamed intertwined po protons our photon pairs down to uh, the city of Dalinga in northern China and Lijiang in southern China. And there, telescopes aimed at the satellites detected the particles. Isn't that amazing? How we have um, telescopes that can t t detect a photon, a specific photon of light. I mean, that's just mind boggling. So, what does this mean? This means that the powers that shouldn't be are about to take communications to a whole new level. And this can have very, very dire consequences for us because, of course, if they're able to do this and, and communicate totally and completely securely and, and leave us wide open, mind you, remember, they're advancing quantum computer technology um, exponentially fast. So, they're able to hack into our networks, but you'll never be able to hack into theirs. And then once 5G comes around, and if it incorporates this type of technology, what then are they going to be capable of? I'm Joe Joseph. This is the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.